Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So, there's this birding I've had for quite some time. Um, there's an announcement that God wants me to make. And when I say God, please believe me, I'm not joking. And it's not about politics this time around. It's something very personal. And I have done a seminar on this before, but I'm just, I feel led to announce to you that if you, if you happen to be one of the people who still believes in masturbation as a way of deriving pleasure, if you masturbate, if you masturbate, please, if by any chance you are able or you're privileged to see this video, take it from me today. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. I want you to picture a big red stop sign in your mind. And that's exactly what I want you to do right now. Because I've noticed that nearly every single person who had reached out to me to talk about financial problems, to talk about marital issues, the first question I always ask is, do you masturbate? 99.9% .9 of the time, they always come back to me and say, yes, I masturbate. It's that I started masturbating when I was 14 or when I was 16 and I've been doing it and I'm now 45 or 50 or whatever. And they don't think there's any problem with that. You have songs and movies encouraging you to masturbate. You have some very criminal-minded medical practitioners telling you that it's okay. It's a way to derive pleasure. It's nonsensical. It's all a bloody lie from the pit of hell. In masturbation, let me make it very clear to you right now because I'm not about to do any seminar. This is a short video. But in masturbation, you are actually making love to a spirit. And it's not a good spirit. It's not a holy spirit. It's an evil spirit. Can I say that again? In masturbation, you are making love to an evil spirit because it takes two to indulge in a sexual intercourse. Can't you think? It takes two. One person cannot just get involved in a sexual intercourse. Masturbation is sexual intercourse between a human being and an evil spirit. And what happens is that the evil spirit, there's a, a, a video I did some time ago about soul ties. The evil spirit that you cannot see is an energy. And that evil energy, if you are a man, comes upon you like a garment and you wear it. It actually covers your spirit. It enters into your soul and covers your spirit. And so wherever you go, it is this evil spirit that is seen. If you go for interview, the person who represents there is the evil spirit. When people are discussing to do you good, who shows, the person that shows up at that meeting is the evil spirit. If you're a woman... This evil energy of the evil man comes into your soul and lives there and dominates and takes over. And this thing will never ever allow you to settle down. Even if you force yourself to get married, at the end of the day, you will always have serious problems. But guess what? In, a, in every sexual intercourse, there's a transaction that takes place. There's an exchange of energies. The energy that you are giving out during sexual intercourse is so potent and powerful that it is actually the magnetic force that attracts good to you, attracts wealth to you, attracts all kinds of favors to you. Now, this is the same energy as well that actually makes you a human being. The whole essence of you being a human being, let's say, for instance, that somebody says you're handsome or you're beautiful, or anything. It is the amount of energy, the human energy you have in you that determines whether you become handsome, whether you become beautiful, whether you become attractive, or whatever. That same human essence is what you are dumping into an evil spirit. But in exchange, the evil spirit is giving you an evil energy. They come and take over. After sucking you dry, they now place a curse upon you as a man. That's why almost everybody who masturbates, except for people who have sold their souls to the devil, everybody who masturbates, they never go forward. They are always at a, at a certain level in life and they don't move forward, they don't go backward. 
There's always something backward. There's something very, 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 very wicked about masturbation to your life. Limitations everywhere. A lot of people do not know that for many families where there is some type of limitation or some type of ancestral curse or ancestral limitation. Okay, let me make this clear because I don't want this video to be long, okay? For every single family where you have an ancestral curse or ancestral limitations, and let me give you an example. For instance, say in this family, every young man that gets up to the age of 40, they will die. Or any woman that gets up to certain age, they will die. Or maybe when the women get married, they never give birth to male children. Or when the men get married, they never give birth to girls. Or maybe some, there's some type of funny, funny cycles and all kinds of repetitive nonsense that have become a trend in certain families. Those things are as a result of certain ancestral limitations or ancestral curses. And ancestral curses come into play when ancestors have gone into a covenant with the devil a covenant of backwardness, of limitation. And so when the generations unborn now come into being, the devil always looks for a particular besetting sin or habitual sin that he's going to place in the lives of these unborn generation so that he will use that sin to activate that covenant of backwardness made by the ancestors in the life of these people. And that sin will be used constantly as long as they live to continually renew that covenant of wickedness in their life. So if your own limitation is that every male child that gets to the age of 40 must die, they would have already introduced masturbation to you at the age of 15 or 16. And the more you masturbate, the more you renew that covenant. And by the time you get to 40, that same covenant is going to take place in your life. And the guy will die. Or you get married, you won't have a child. Or you will have to, first of all, divorce more than one million women before you'll be able to settle down. These things are ancestral limitations. And masturbation is one of the most powerful and most potent forces that the powers of darkness use to renew ancestral covenants in the lives of the generation that didn't know about it. This is why, no matter what they tell you about masturbation, you see, this is a topic I can do for an entire week or month, and I won't even finish it. I can't I can exhaust it. I am pleading with you. Please, whoever you are, wherever you are, stop masturbating. There are many people I have helped, more than several thousands of people who watch my video. Go to Joseph Okechuku on YouTube and see a video I did there. On masturbation it has helped so many people look you ask how do I know because I suffer from the from the wicked shackles of masturbation for 20 years of my life 20 years and so when God delivered me I made up my mind for as long as I live I will deliver people I will help people to break loose from this wickedness many of you who are running around looking for somebody to pray for you for marital issues or maybe for business uh, uh, breakthrough and all of that all you need is just stay away from masturbation, enter into a new covenant with the Most High God through His Son Yeshua, and everything is going to be all right for you. You don't need anybody's prayer. Masturbation is the problem. May God help you. I'm praying for you. And hopefully someday I'm going to declare a masturbation seminar and make an announcement about it so we can do it on Facebook. And I want to be able to help people to break through or break loose from this. God bless you. This is my own little gift for your weekend. I hope you have a great day. Bye.